Hey YouTube, um, still uh, working on this uh, 65, this uh, front end swap. Um, um, right now I'm on the driver's side, you're actually inside the uh, inner fender. I uh, wanted to uh, give everyone a quick update. Um, last, I, last video I had started working on the, um, the inside of the frame rail, uh, trying to clean it up a little bit. Um, I ran out of, um, I think two videos ago, I ran out of um, gas and my, I actually ran out of oxygen in my uh, cutting torch setup. Um, so I went ahead and started uh, trying to cut this thing with the Sawzall and with the um, cutting wheels. And it, um, places in there are hard to get to. Um, I actually nicked my oil filter, so now I've got a leaky oil filter. Uh, it needs to be changed anyway, so it's not a big deal. I just have to deal with the, the little bit of oil that's on the ground that drips out of there. Um, I went ahead and, and uh, did a rough, rough in cleanup, I guess you could say, of the um, driver's side using the cutting torch. I got the gas tank filled today, the, the, the oxygen tanks. And um, so let me show you that. Uh, also, on a um, Another note, um, I got um, notice, and I don't remember ever really applying for it, but I got notice um, for from YouTube to be um, uh, revenue sharing on uh, AdSense. I don't know if that's the same thing as being a partner or not. Um, I, I don't know about all that. So if any of you guys are watching and you are the full-fledged partners, uh, let me know if, if that is what it what it means. Um, they asked me um, if I would like to uh, use my videos for that, you know, for the Google AdSense. So that's kind of a cool thing. Maybe I'd get a little extra money to put back in toward these videos. Um, but And I guess that'll just entail getting some ads on the sides of the videos for you guys to click on um, if, it, if, you know, if they interest you or whatever. Uh, but now on with the uh, vids here. Uh, I've actually got to crawl up and under the truck as best as I can. Now, this is hot, but um, this was a piece that was directly under directly under the um, motor mount. Um, that was the hardest one to get rid of. I've got a ton of pieces right there I got a little bitty uh, miscellaneous piece there and as you can see I got a bunch of grime and dirt and all kinds of just debris uh, that was left over um, from doing all these a lot of these little balls down here are molten hot still um, so I've already been burned several times on my face my arms my knees, legs, wherever. Um, this is still really hot. Right there's the uh, oil filter I said was leaking. So I gotta make sure not to get that on the camera. Um, but basically right there's the uh, uh, oh, excuse me is the inside of the frame rail. Uh, again, it's really hot. I could just feel the heat coming off of it. Uh, this piece from here that way is boxed in. That's where the steering shaft or the steering gearbox actually set on the original um, setup. Um, I'm getting dripped on here um, by the oil. Uh, anyways, but this is um, you, this is uh, where the one of the cross members were was. Uh, right there's where another cross member was, and then of course that's where another cross member was. So now what I got to do is uh, go back in and just kind of clean it up just a little bit. So when I do put these um, boxing plates, um, as you can see, like right there, it's kind of jetting. Come on, focus. It's jetting out just a little bit more than the actual frame is, so that's not going to make for a very good fit. Um, so I need to do that and. Uh, and of course, right there is the uh, the motor mount, engine mount. That's where it attaches to the frame, right there. 
and it comes up on the engine and of course right here is hopefully where I could attach it somehow to the uh, Jaguar crossmember. Um, the other side, in fact you guys may be able to get a better idea of what I'm talking about or what I'm up against. Right there's the other side. That probably gives you a better idea. This is where the uh, front, that tubular piece of that cross member was. Um, it's already pretty flush. I just got to grind it down just a tad. And then right there is the uh, other pieces or the other section where the other section of the drive shaft was. Now if you'll notice it doesn't have that boxed in piece in the front. Uh, that's because there was no gear shaft or uh, gear box right there. Uh, so there's no reason for it to be boxed or in the factory. So what I do plan on doing is probably from like right there in front of that cross member on, probably up until, well, I don't know how far out, but I'm gonna go ahead and box that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rough mount the um, cross member in. I'm gonna get my wheels and tires on there. And uh, I gotta grind down little things like this right here just to make sure it kind of fits up there as good as it can and the same thing on that side if you'll notice um, like right there's a bolt that's sticking out and then like right there's a piece of a rivet that's sticking out um, so that's going to be what I'm going to do next um, I've got a flat disc for my grinder oh, hold on oh, I'm getting too old for this uh, flap disc for my grinder um, that will allow me to basically um, clean that frame up really good and, um, and once I do that uh, then I'll be able to start tacking that cross member in there and um, getting everything boxed in the way it needs to be so uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned um, we're going to continue on with this hi hey YouTube uh, it's me again uh, back for uh, some more punishment out here in the garage um, last probably little clip that you saw I think I'd probably um, finish cleaning up a little bit of the inside of the frame rail um, I disconnected the um, rack and pinion from the um, cross member that's the would be the back side or I guess you call it the back side of the uh, Jaguar cross member um, and its mounting points are right there and right there um, I am now going to take the outer tie rod ends off of the um, spindle or steering knuckle whatever you want to call them um, I'm going to have to do that so I can uh, not have this piece dragging behind it and in order to do that I needed to pick up a uh, tie rod separator uh, any local parts store would have this uh, I'd, I'd pretty much do all my shopping at O'Reilly's um, so that's right it's it's, a, it's really a free rental you basically you pay for the tool and then you return it um, and that's how their rental program works um, so stay tuned I'm gonna hammer this out if y'all don't I'm sure everyone probably knows how to do this uh, but I'll go ahead and show a, a brief how-to um, another um, quick thing to note is I am working on getting some more um, lights in the shop um, this whole one fluorescent light and my other light is just back there it's just the factory the garage light so it's just not very very good and so I've got my little drop light here but basically this is also called a pickle fork because uh, or a tuning fork I don't know if you can it makes like a vibrating noise and musical instruments this these are a lot they're 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 made differently uh but they make a um you can get them tuned um for different keys and that way you can tell if your musical instrument's in tune or not at least that's how uh the basics of my understanding of it 
anyways all you really do um, is put that in there like so and hammer away and then it'll separate it uh, of course I can't do that with two hands so stay tuned and I'll, I'll turn this back on whenever uh, I get everything apart uh, all right hang tight all right um, got the uh, rack and pinion off um, a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be um, of course that's kind of the, the story of this front end swap going so far I had to cut that um, tie rod in on that side um, and then finally hammer it all out I uh, went ahead and got the um, power steering pump it's right there so uh, it's, it's a little bit cleaner um, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is um, start maneuvering it underneath the excuse me uh, start maneuvering it underneath the uh, truck um, just to see you know kind of check my center lines and everything like that and um, we'll just kind of go from there um, so let me get everything situated get cords out of my way and um, we'll see what we can do hang tight <laughs> 